something. Because you see, my dear brothers and sisters, shaitan comes to us in many different ways. And for good people, people who are watching an Islamic channel right now, who can be watching anything else on TV, but they chose to watch an Islamic program, shaitan will not come to you the same way that he comes to people who are absolutely disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shaitan comes in a different way. Shaitan comes to you and he says, you will repent. You will go to hajj. You believe in hijab. You believe in being good to your parents. You believe in visiting your relatives. And you're going to do it. But not now though. Just a little bit later. Just a little bit later. SubhanAllah, the biggest trick of the shaitan, which is procrastination. SubhanAllah, you know what the problem with procrastination is, my dear brothers and sisters, is that when we procrastinate, one of two things will surely happen. The first thing is, you may die before you actually get to do what you were supposed to do. What you had intended to do, but never got to. Why? Because you procrastinated. And the second thing is something just as bad, if not, worse that you keep on sinning against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much that you reach a point where that sin actually becomes a part of you it becomes part of your habits and who you are as a person and you're not able to give it up you're not you keep on thinking to yourself how can I give it up I've been used to it for such a long time and even worse something else can happen that sin not only becomes a part of you and you still realize it's a sin you move up to another stage where you start feeling okay about it. You start making excuses for yourself. Oh, I'm doing it because everyone else is doing it. This is the problem with procrastination, my dear brothers and sisters. 